I feel like I need a jingle for my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. No, that's so bad. No, it isn't. It's so good, Christine. It's so good. Self-love. Love myself. I love myself. Do you know what? I watched this thing about Shane Mitchell and how she's like always sings in, the, in front of the mirror like naked every morning and sings I love myself, I love myself because if you don't love yourself, then who else will? You know what I mean? And I was like... Run on, girlfriend. That's exactly what goes down. I love myself, 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 I love myself. Hello, welcome back. This is video two of the personal branding. In this video, what I wanted to talk about was the biggest mistakes that I see. Oh my God, I'm literally a walking cliche now. The biggest mistakes that people make when building a personal brand. This is who I am now. Let's just get serious, okay? If you want to build the life that you want to live and you want to attract the things that you want to attract, you know, the things that you love, the things that bring you life, the things that bring you fire, then you've got to know this. So that's why I'm super passionate about this. It's changed my life, like I mentioned in the first video, but I'm going to reiterate again it continues to change my life know this now so that moving forward you can just keep going forward strides rather than forwards backwards forwards backwards 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 forwards forwards nothing wrong with that I've done that in many other areas of my life but just not this one the biggest mistake that people make in building their personal brand I'm really talking about people who are in a transition phase and they used to be one thing and they want to get something else they want to go forward in this way but they're so tied into their past over here and they're just like out of the way out of the way this is what I want this is what I want the biggest I guess challenge that this poses is building a brand purely based on goals let me give you a little bit more context on that let's use me as an example my past kind of life my old career was that I was a flight attendant so all of the credibility that I have is here this is what people know me for they know to ask me about how to travel effectively you know they know to ask me how long it's gonna take them to get from this airport to the next airport right so that's what people know me for and then I wanted to go into marketing if I lived in my goal and presented my personal brand as someone who was you know an expert in marketing like why would they believe me number one number two why would they want to continue to consume someone that they don't even know is credible for that? This is a very common thing that happens. We've got a past that kind of built us to where we are today. And like the resilience that we have, all of the life experience that we have, all of the wisdom that we have, all of the flair that we have came from over here. And we're trying to like push it under the rug and be like, that's not me anymore. I'm just this person and I'm this expert. The best way to deal with building a personal brand in the moment of transition is to actually incorporate all of that all in one build it all in one because think about it your past involves you you probably would have had to solve some problems back then which then took you to where you are now which then adds value to where you're trying to go not just for yourself because that's what it feels like at the beginning that this is you centric but don't forget when you're on social media and you're trying to achieve something, it's not actually about you. You've got to give value to others. So the best thing to do is to bridge the gap between your past and your future because that is where you are currently. So you can't just ignore this. This is a common mistake that's actually made. Ignoring where you came from, ignoring all of that past, all of your values over here reduces the value of this because it's like you're having to create a new persona whilst it's also even new to you. So, you know, you might hear people say, okay we'll go on social media and then that way you're going to gain authority in your field but what if you're new in your field what if you're a person who you know i know your background again is flight attending and you want to be a yoga teacher and you've gone i'm just going to go on here and talk about this talk about that so what that means is you're going to have to create a whole new audience and p.s you can do that through targeted facebook ads and google adwords you can do that you can with the internet, everything is possible. You can create anything you want, but it's going to be hard to kind of like connect with the people that are already in your existing network about how you're such an expert over here when 10 years of your life was spent over here. You can take that persona and just paid ads, targeted ads, you go, do that, do that. But if we're talking like path of least resistance, the easiest path, right? The most accessible path is to kind of, you just have to make a balance between your past and your current and your future balance, a balanced presence about what that is. So if you're finding that you are showing up on social media and you're doing it all the time and you've got this one niche, because I know a lot of people will say, we'll start off with a niche, a niche of a niche is even better. Get known for one thing. Absolutely, yes. But you know, if you've been doing what 
If you've been doing that technique for like a long time now and it's still not where you want it to be, then that's an indication that there's a bit of a disconnect. Maybe people want to know a little bit more about you. Maybe people want to know, you know, a little bit more about the other side of you. You know, maybe people want to know about the thing that you're naturally an expert in. Naturally an expert in, not because it's your passion, but it's because it's your past. Ooh, yes! That's so hot. So in summary, the biggest mistake that most people make when building a personal brand is that they've put so much of the value of their existing brand away and they've presented only one thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to do a little bit of an audit of your personal brand, see how it's going, whether it exists, you know, powerfully. I've got a checklist that you can um, grab, get access to it. There's a link in the description box of this video. Shoot through your email and then you'll be able to download that checklist and like and see how you're going. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, pop them in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do.